U.S. space agency NASA says the two American astronauts who are stuck on the International Space Station could be in orbit for eight more months until a SpaceX flight can retrieve them. Astronauts Sunita Williams and Barry Butch Wilmore launched into space on the 5th of June for a mission that was expected to last eight days. They've been in space for more than two months already. The spacecraft that took them there, Boeing Starliner, has faced technical issues, which has halted their return to Earth. While well, NASA officials have been giving a teleconference on the astronauts stuck in space. There were no major updates, as you mentioned, Anita. They postponed all the final decisions to the end of August. It's not so surprising. They want to have more data to decide. I think another interesting point is that, in their opinion, Starliner is still plan A. So they're still thinking that Starliner should be the vehicle to take them back. But they're running data and just to make sure that everything is by the book and everything is respected. So we will have a final decision by uh, the end of August. Some interesting detail about how the two of them are getting on. We're told they're making the best of the extra time they're having on the International Space Station. Yes, they also mentioned they're eating the fantastic space food, which I don't know if I share this opinion because one of the common knowledge is that uh, astronauts' food is not particularly tasty, especially after eight months. So, you a know, a, li a little the... tongue-in-cheek, I think, Emma, there. <laughs> Just slightly. <laughs> Yeah, um, but um, I guess other astronauts have been commenting on this, haven't they? Um, while we've been waiting to hear more details from NASA and saying, actually, um, if they were in their position, they would be making the most of having that extra time at the space station and actually really enjoying this period. Well, it has to be pointed out, it's not something that happens to everyone to just spend eight months in space. It's still an incredible opportunity. And these uh, two astronauts, uh, they are uh, incredible veterans. They've been in space several times. They know what they're doing. So I suppose when this is your job and your job is so spectacular, like being an astronaut, you probably enjoy to stay a bit longer. <laughs> Now, it was interesting that one journalist asked the NASA representatives if this mission could be classified, the Starliner mission could be classified as a mishap. And NASA said the mission is not necessarily a mishap yet. Talk to us about the politics around this, because obviously NASA has invested a lot in this uh, partnership with Boeing. Yes, I mean, the mishap, failure, things, it can get quite technical. And I agree, honestly, with the NASA answer, like, let's not get into this type of technical details. It, it, it gets to be delicate because they have to decide what is mishap, what is a failure. And one of the clear answers was, like, being this one, an experimental test flight, the definition might not apply, like, in a normal mission. Um, the politics of Boeing, SpaceX, and NASA, that's a completely different thing because we are watching two commercial companies, two private companies, SpaceX and Boeing, both being awarded with NASA's uh, program is a commercial crew program is actually a NASA program to try to build more efficient uh, um, methods to arrive uh, to and from the SS. So the fact that Boeing is having all these issues and SpaceX is not is obviously indicative of something. But this is something that Boeing, NASA and SpaceX will need to sort it out definitely. So that says interesting commercial and economical um, backstories. <laughs> Dr. Emma Gatti there, editor-in-chief of Space Watch and a former NASA scientist herself with her thoughts on that latest update from NASA on the two astronauts.